So, man is the sample of God. So why don't you start, study nicely, man? And you, you can no understand God. What is God? I ask this Christian people, leave. Man is made after the image of God. You study very scrutinizingly a perfect human being, and you know what is God? The most ideal, most ideal huh? image of a human being. Is yes. God. And that is the Vedic injunction. Nitya nitya ram, chitra chitra ram. So, you take a perfect man, just like Krishna, you take a perfect man, take him as man, you see that he is God. He has got all the perfections. Even if you take him as a man. No competition. No competition. <laughs> and that is Bhagavan. Bhagavan is, we are giving this definition. Bhagavan means a perfect man. That's all. Now, just like man wants to uh, uh, wife, to have wife. So, why there is uh, this called adulteration. He wants more than one wife. Just see, perfect Krishna, he has got sixteen thousand wives, which you cannot imagine. Here is perfection. You cannot say that a man has no inclination to have more than one wife. That is there. So that propensity is in perfection is there in Krishna. And that is that who is God. You refer to it as the Don Juan complex. Huh? Don Juan complex. Don complex? It's, it's, Don, it's, it's a, a character in Spanish history, uh, fictional history. Ah. The perfect lover, the image that all men would like to be, the perfect lover. Yeah. So who can be perfect lover than Krishna? Ah. Krishna, uh, he loves everyone. Where is that man? He loves everyone. The so-called patriot, they love their countrymen, but kill their animals. Why? Mr. Nixon uh, loves his countrymen. Why not love his uh, country cows? They are also born in the land. They require also, they have right to leave. Oh, why they are killed? That is imperfection. And Krishna is embracing the calf and embracing Radharani also. And that is perfection. <laughs> that is perfection. Krishna talks with birds. These are there. Oh, one day on the bank of Jamuna, he was talking with a bird. One old lady saw and said, oh, he's talking with a bird. That is perfection. He sounded like this? Huh? He talked like that? Like, yeah. like the bird talk? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Therefore Krishna is another quality of Babuda. He can speak in any language. Birds have language? Huh? Animals have their language? That's oh, yeah, everyone has language. Everyone has language. <laughs> energy we are in, Krishna's energy now, and uh, we acknowledge it as Krishna in the neophyte state, the so pure devotee realizes it as Krishna's energy. Uh, but as a neophyte, how do we enjoy material energy in this aspect, the fresh air in the morning walk? The neophyte or anyone still who is not in Krishna consciousness, he does not enjoy, he simply suffers. 
no Krishna Vinyana. Anyone who is not in Krishna consciousness, he does not enjoy. He simply suffers. But he takes the suffering as enjoyment. That is Maya. That is Maya. Just like in your country, they are walking day and night, just like from the morning. Good, 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 good. They are suffering, but the people are coming, enjoying golf. That is suffering only. From the morning, going here, is it not suffering? <laughs> but he's thinking, I have enjoyed. And this is my. It's like yes, this is my. He's suffering, but he's thinking, I have enjoyed. So any conditioned soul, he doesn't enjoy anything. He simply suffers, but he thinks that he's enjoying. Therefore the camel, camel example is given. Camel example. Camel, he is eating his own blood, eh? eating thorns, and the thorns cutting the tongue, and the, from the tongue blood is oozing out. So when the blood is mixed up with the thorny uh, twigs, it becomes little tasteful, and he is thinking, oh, it is very nice. Similarly, all these grihasthas uh, enjoying sex life, he is discharging his own blood, he is becoming weaker and weaker, he is thinking, I am enjoying. He is thinking, I am enjoying. Uh, if he uses more, then he becomes diseased, tuberculous. He is dying by that process, but he is thinking, I am enjoying. Therefore it is exemplified with the camel. He is enjoying his own blood by discharging. Eh? One drop of cement is made out of so many drops of blood. Do you know? Eh? Forty drops. Just see. So how many, how much drops of cement he is discharging? That means he is spoiling his blood. Eh? But he is thinking, I am enjoying. Would you like to, by giving your blood to enjoy? Would you like? No, I don't think I'm not. But you are doing that every night? And that is what my. No, you are, I am giving an example. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going on. He is going to die. He has adopted a process by which he will die, and he thinks that uh, he is This is called maya. Maya means things which is not.